what's up rag squad welcome back to another video um today we're gonna be painting the calipers on my car so the wheels are off um the car is on jacks as well right here um as far as jacking pretty much i didn't have no jack stands and i wasn't i wasn't gonna go buy no jack stands just for just for this one time so I just kept it on a jack right here and I put the wheels there just in case, um, you know, some sketchy happens. Um, it's not gonna be damaged. Um, yeah, it's not really nothing to worry about. But anyways, um, we got the wheels off. Um, I'm gonna start scrubbing these calipers with the stuff I got up here. So the stuff that I'm gonna be using is, I'm gonna use a simple green de um, degreaser thingy to um, pretty much scrub the uh, scrub the calipers and get all the brake dust and all that kind of stuff off um as you can see i got some got a wire brush right here metal brush i'm gonna use that to do the scrubbing i got also a, um like a it's kind of like a sanding pad kind of just in case there's like any um hard hard you know brake dust and stuff on there it's easy to do it but i'm probably not gonna be using this but i just get it just in case um we also got masking tape right here we got this um this gloss um ceramic clear coat to go on top of the paint when i'm done got some of the paint brushes to get inside the creases and stuff and i got a bigger paint brush right here this is the main one that i'm going to be using and this is the paint that we got it's a it's a small can i got it from amazon it's it's very small it's only a uh half a pint um, but it's red. I'm gonna be using this to do it. Um, I I chose not to go with the the spray paint because I I just don't want you know have a mess. Even though you can mask it off and stuff, but I chose to just use manually paint it and stuff. And I got some alcohol that I'm gonna be using. Just wipe everything down when I'm done. Got a little box cutter right here to cut all this trash bags and stuff and mask it off. And yeah that, that is pretty much it so all right guys so like i said i'm about to be using the simple green um degreaser most of you guys said um i could use the i should use um brake cleaner but like i said i just didn't feel like going to the store right now when i had um all this stuff here so i'm just trying to use what i got so just scrub it down with um with this Now we're gonna use um, our masking tape and we're gonna start masking this um, these calipers along with our trash bags that we got as well so um the main thing is make sure you don't um, paint your your brake pads like no matter what don't paint your brake pads because that's a safety hazard and that's the last thing that you actually you know want to do so just mask off inside um, or try to get the tape under the calipers all right guys so I'm pretty much done masking everything off at least all the main things that are needed to be masked off um, suspension and everything especially these back here like all these little rubbers and um, all these kind of stuff back here obviously I can't tell you what everything is for or what they do but Obviously, they're part of the brakes. They're like brake lines and stuff like those. Just make sure you mask all these off, especially these ones. One, two, three, four of these. Make sure they're completely masked off. Um, can't stress that enough. Make sure you mask them off because if you paint those, you're more than likely going to be breaking down the rubber, and those are going to obviously fail. When it comes to your brakes, you don't want to you don't want to play around. So make sure you mask those off. Also, in here, I mask those off as well. I use this um, to like tuck everything in that's what i used in here as well just crumple and tuck the the tape in just to make sure that you know everything is like completely masked off so nothing gets on the calipers and um all that kind of stuff and uh as for the plastic bag as well it's the same thing in here just make sure it's covering it All 
All right, guys, so after an hour, pretty much, um, the driver front is done. So um, there's two coats on here. Well, honestly, it's probably more than two because um, I painted and then um, as soon as they you know uh, that spot is dry, I went over it again. And I pretty much did that until I got everything covered. So it's about two or three coats on this one. Um, now I'm about to head to the back and uh, start masking off that wheel and get it done. Also, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Um, there are imperfections in there. Like the paint is not, you know, like leveled yet because it's still not dried. But right now from where I'm at, it's impossible to tell that, um, there's an imperfections but it looks really good all right we back um we done with the back well we done masking it off um everything is covered all that good stuff and um now we're just gonna be painting so we're gonna be obviously using the small brush like i did up front again and we're just gonna be starting with the the back side of it and the smallest pieces. So um, just stay tuned for the final look of it, probably like an hour. So I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. All right, so we're done with the back. Um, there's two coats on there. Uh, obviously it's a little bit messy because I removed the tape and all that yet, but it looks good. Um, I think it came out really good, especially because I didn't um, I didn't remove the calipers and paint them, because I just think that was too much work. But yeah, it looks good. There are imperfections in it as well. Obviously, the paint is still wet, but it's looking real good. Like it's the color is just popping so much, looking hella juicy. But hey, I like the way it's turned out. So um, now the front is dried by now. It's been an hour since I last did this two coats. So now I'm about to try putting the, um, the clear coat on there and see how that turns out. Um, I think that would be enough. Um, right away, you could actually notice the the higher level of gloss um, that the paint is bringing out now. Um, yeah, I lightly went on it, but I think I covered everything and uh, that's enough. So I'm gonna let that dry for another 15 minutes and then I'll, I'll check back with it just to see how it turns out. And then um, by then the back should be dried so we can start um, putting a clear coat on that. In the meantime, I'm going to start putting the wheels back on this side and uh, start with the next side. And um, that's it, guys. I think I was a little bit too close. Um, but yeah i could see the paint reacting to it so that's good um we're gonna let that sit there and um dry for like 15 minutes like we did at the front and then um we'll come back and check it out all right guys so uh we're gonna be unmasking now so just moving all the tape all the plastic Take all our tapes, all our plastics off. All right, guys, so 
This is the finished product on this side. Uh, it's looking stunning. <laughs> like, it's really, really good. And the fact that I didn't have to take the calipers off to do it, but it still came out, like, so good. Like, there's no excessive paint anywhere. Um, everything's, like, really good on this side. All right, guys. So, we unmasked um, the back calipers. And we're about to get ready to put the wheels on. But, as I show y'all real quick, this thing is stunning. You thought the front was was neat? Dang, check this out. Everything else is properly done. There's no paint on the cali um on the on the the pads. Everything else is just perfect. I love the way this turns out with the um with everything. Like it's looking real good. Alright guys, so we're done with this side. Both back and front. Um I just applied the um the clear coat as well. I did two coats of that so i'm waiting on that to dry and yeah that that's pretty much it it took us about um about five hours honestly but it's worth it also this is the paint that i use i don't know if i showed y'all the um the code but that's a paint number and code for it it's half a pint it's pretty small honestly so about that but there's a lot left in it it's it's about three quarter cans that's left and i did it about three coats in each calipers and we still have plenty left over also i didn't bother using this big paintbrush that i bought so i'm probably gonna um, return this back to lowe's i just used these i felt like i was more comfortable with these like i could i could make heavy dips in the paint but still not mess up you know by overflowing on um overflowing the paint everywhere so i just use the this one and then there's this uh, little smaller one that i use to get like increases and stuff but yeah, that's pretty much um, that's pretty much it. So just waiting on those to be dry, then put the wheels back on. Um, I think it's gonna look so good, especially with all the the red accents around it already. And All right, guys, so that's it for the video. Um, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And also, drop a comment in the comment section. Um, appreciate y'all for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that um, thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe and also turn on your post notifications. And yeah, that's it for the video. So, peace.